Hi everybody. We are going to do um, part two of my layered stamps series. Today we are going to be using the Kitchen Sink Stamps Multi-Step Iris and you can see there is a large iris, there's a smaller iris, there are some leaves, um, and then the stems. So uh, it looks like a lot but it's really not and it's four steps, but I'm going to try to hopefully make it a little easier for you. This is actually a pretty easy stamp to line up, but let's take a look at it. I'm going to be using two Misties for this one to show you a little shortcut. I do have some Nina White, Nina Solar White paper cut up into card panel size, so we can try to make multiple cards here. This is a beautiful image. I think we can use it for birthdays for sympathy for congratulations it's just one of those cards I think we can make have a couple aside and then stamp the sentiment when we're ready to use the card so the first thing I'm going to do is see here let's start with the base layer which is number one and we are going to be using the mini misty first let me get my first card panel out and I'm gonna use the larger five and a quarter by four. We can always cut these down. My little magnets. Here's another tip on your Misty. I laminated um, two pages together. You can see mine's starting to come apart here. But I laminated two of the grid pages together. It makes it easier if you need to wipe them down um, instead of using the actual grid paper because I just use the foam and this laminated grid paper. So I just have the foam down because these are photopolymer stamps. They are good quality photopolymer stamps. I'm going to tuck my paper down into the corner there and put my barg magnet at the top and this one down in the bottom corner. And I think I'll start up to the left here. So a little bit off the page for this one. Oops, let me grab my inks real quick, hold on. Okay guys, sorry about that. So for the colors today, I've chosen, these are Stampin' Up, um, Highland Heather, Gorgeous Scrape. These are two of the new colors. Blackberry Bliss. So we have three colors there. And then for the greens, we'll be using Pear Pizzazz and Granny Apple Green. And I will link those down below for you as well. All right. So for the first layer, you always want it to be your lightest color, which is going to be Highland, um, Highland, what's it called? Highland Heather. We're just going to stamp that off now. Whoops. I've already made a mess by dropping the ink everywhere. See, I don't edit my videos so you can see I make mistakes too. Now, for the first one, I want to stamp that color off real quick. So I can just put a piece of scratch paper over top there. Um, I'm just going to put this piece of paper in here for now. I want to see how it looks because I think the first one is just going to be too dark if we do that direct. So let's see how this looks with stamping it off first. That might be too light. We might have to use it. Let's see here. Yeah, it's barely there. Um, I think we're just going to go full strength here. And we are going to leave this in this little mini Misty. Let me just wipe it down quick. And we are going to move over to the larger Misty. So what we're going to be doing, because we're going to be mass producing here, is we're going to set up all of these Misty's. So all we have to do is put a fresh piece of paper in there. So now I'm going to take the larger Misty and open it up. And what I actually want to do is I want the door upwards. And then in this bottom right corner, same thing. I have my foam and my laminated 
paper at the top there. I'm going to um, actually start in this, yeah, this right corner. And we're going to line up stamp number two, which is this one here. Now, because these are very solid images for the most part, all you have to do is line up the outer edges. You can see through the stamp because it's photopolymer. So be, this is a really easy layering set. You could even just use blocks for this. So we're just gonna line up the outer edges all around the edges and the top there. And that's going to be our second layer. We're just gonna stick that on the misty door. And I think what I'm gonna do is let's stamp again with the Highland Heather and see how that stands. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do that for the second layer because there's really not too much to separate the two images in terms of design. So I'm gonna go in again with the same color I just used for layer one and do layer two. What that's going to do is it's going to darken up the stamped areas, there we go. And so layer one is a shade lighter and then the other layers, and we can see we have that lined up beautifully. So layer one is Highland Heather and layer two is Highland Heather. So that's that. Just wipe my little mag. There, my little template wipe the stamp off okay so then for layer three we're gonna slide this over to the left but I want to line up layer three before I close the door and move the magnet because we're off the edge here and I don't really want the stamp hanging off the edge so the same thing we are going to look at in fact this would be a good place probably to use one of those new misty corners Let me see here. Okay, so for layer three, which is this one here, what I am lining up is the outer edge of the flower and the inside bottom of this flower here. So you can see this all goes all the way to the edge. So there's a little guy here. Let me hold this up for you guys to see. Okay, so on this stamp set, we want to line up this whole inner edge and then this side edge here. And I think I am going to use a misty corner for this. So I'm just going to put that down there, slide my paper into there, and line those guys up. I think I have that pretty good. And you want to make sure that this stamp is clean because it will stamp on your paper if the stamp is not clean. So we want to make sure that that is clean. We don't want to remove it off the door. We just want to leave it there. So this stamp has been cleaned because otherwise it will touch your paper. If you're uncomfortable with that, you could move it over. But ha see how this is hanging off the edge. So I don't want to uh, move that. I'm okay with it because I know I wiped this down. All right, so now we are going to ink up our third layer with a different color. We're going to use, let me put my magnet on here. We're going to use Gorgeous Grape. Yeah, and I just want to close the door, make sure everything is lined up, looks pretty good. This is a little darker purple. It really is a gorgeous grape color. So this is layer three called Gorgeous Grape. My magnets are lifting here. And there you can see how beautiful that is. So that is three layers. Now for the fourth layer, I'm gonna do that one last. I think we'll put that one back into the Mini Misty, but I just wanna show you what my idea was here. It's kind of like um, assembly line style here. So now that I know what colors I'm going to use, now that I know how everything is lined up, let me show you how quick and easy this is going to be. And then we'll put on our fourth layer. So let me move the large guy out of the way. Back to the mini Misty. Super strong bar magnets. <laughs> I did have tape on it, but the tape ripped. All right, so I'm going to add my piece of paper. I'm going to do two more here. 
actually, I guess we could do. Yeah. All right. So layer one, Highland Heather. And these colors do tend to dry back a little bit and even out once they dry. So there's one, and then we're just gonna add another piece of paper. And this is Nina Solar White um, Classic Crest paper. There's another one. And one more real quick. So I have all four card panels with layer one stamped out. I'm going to put my layer four back on here real quick. Back to our original panel. There's a gnat in here. Okay, so this is layer four. Okay. For layer four, same thing. We're going to layer this outer edge here on top of our image. What I like to see is this little gap here. That's the gap here. So once you line that up, you know you have everything lined up. And then you just look at the top up there that's all lined up. And it falls into place. There's also a little lip here you can, so this is a very, very easy stamp set to line up. Okay, so that's our fourth layer on this because this was our original card panel. So on this one, we're gonna use a very dark, dark purple. This is called Blackberry Bliss. Ooh, that is very dark. And then we will see how our flower looks. All right, so. I feel that that is too dark and it takes away from layer three. Or I messed up and mixed up layer three and layer four because when I put my stamps away, I mixed them up. <laughs> and I know this because I'm looking at this picture and it's super solid, which is layer three. So Nancy messed up. Oopsie. These things happen. And this is how you know you messed up. Well, now that we know we messed up, we're going to fix it. All right, so we know layer one is good, but we know this is layer three, not layer four. So we need to take layer four off the large Missy. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of purple. That just really overtakes the flower. Yes, this is truly layer four. I found the mistake. The moral of the story is put your stamps back in the right order. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this one back and fix it later. Let's go leave that in there for now, number four. Let's go back to number two here. So number two we know should be in the right order for Highland Heather, which does look correct if my paper were in there correctly. Okay, so we're going to do a second layer of Highland Heather for number two. All right, that looks beautiful. Now, where's our, where's our correct number three? So this is our correct number three. Let me clean my stamp up, clean my grid mat up. All right, and then we want our little corner misty back here. Okay, so corner misty's in the corner. Paper's just going to hopefully sit right there, not slide under. 
put our magnet there. All right, the correct number three. Again, lining up that little notch there, lining out, lining up the outer edge. We should be good. And we did number three in grape, so we're going to go back to our gorgeous grape. Pick that up. So that is layer three. No wonder. I was losing all the detail. I just didn't get it. Okay, so that one is good. Might as well do the other two while we're here. Here is number two. Make sure it's in the corner. Another Highland Heather. one okay so layer one and layer two are now complete on all of our Ford car four card panels and I'm going to show you how to fix that one I messed up oh yes I am okay so we can put layer one and layer two away in the correct stamping order. Okay, so now we are going to do number three. Let's make sure our door is wiped down. We don't need any of that extra ink transferring over. Putting our Highland Heather ink away, and we are just using Gorgeous Scrape. We're going to put our panels back in, test fit it. Okay, number three, again, in Gorgeous Scrape. Looking good. So we have four panels stamped out in layers one, two, and three. Just using some spray cleaner because this is such a dark ink. Okay, so one, two, and three are done. I'm putting number three in its correct position. Okay, so now we are to the infamous number four. So, this was the one I did wrong, and I know I did it wrong because it's super dark, because I did it in that Blackberry Bliss. I'm gonna show you how to fix that one in just a second, but let's stamp out these other ones in image number four and see if we can get those corrected. And then I'll show you how we fix, how we fix the one we messed up. So again, doing a test fit here, putting my paper down in the corner. Everything's in the corner, taking my stamp, just lining it up again. Once you're doing this on a mass production line, you won't need to line it up again. It's only the first time. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Number four, again with the Blackberry Bliss.
perfect. Now we know we did it right because look at those layers pop. You guys getting enough lighting here? I always feel like it's too dark. Now there's a glare. You guys see that? All right, so let's move on to the next one. Usually the last layer is the one with the um, least amount of detail, but it's more intricate detail. Gorgeous. I feel like I'm just like standing in the garden looking at these beautiful flowers. And this is the last one. And then we're going to fix our little boo-boo mistake. Gorgeous. Okay, so those all have four layers. Now you're saying, all right, Nats, how are you going to fix the mistake? Because we have lost all of that image. Of course, we're going to clean everything up. Super dark ink everywhere. Okay. To fix the one that we messed up, we need that detail to pop again, right? So you can see on these, on the fourth layer, the detail pops. This one, the fourth layer got lost because it was actually the third layer, and I stamped it in the fourth layer ink. So now everything's super dark, and there's we're missing that level of detail. Now, if that doesn't bother you, you can, of course, leave it that way. I'm sure most people aren't going to notice. But we're going to fix it by enhancing that fourth layer. So we have our fourth layer stamp on here. We want to make sure, again, that it lines up. Looks pretty good. We are now going to stamp it with Versa Mark ink, clear sticky ink. And I'm sure you guys can guess where I'm going with this. We are going to heat emboss that top layer with the detail in clear embossing ink. Clear embossing powder. I probably should have used my anti-static tool, but since I was using dye inks and we're using a clear embossing powder, it's really not going to hurt it too much. Okay, so now you can see there is the fourth layer that we were missing. All of that beautiful detail in. Watch what happens when we heat it up. we have fixed our mistake. So what happened here is even though the third layer is still pretty dark, by heat embossing that fourth layer, that top layer, it's even darker because it's, it's magnifying that ink color. So now we have a fourth layer which is raised, it's darker, and it looks dimensional. And it still has the same beautiful effect without us having to throw it away or try to restamp or match the colors. So now we have four beautiful stamps layered by using two of the stamp positioners, the Misty. If you have the Stampin' Up! Stamparatus tool, it has two doors. You can do it with that. If you have the Tim Holtz tool, it's large enough that you could move your paper around on there. But I did it with two Misties, so now I can mass produce this. Now if I wanted to go on and put another flower on the other side, we can do that. I probably will put the smaller one on here. I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. And then I also have these little stems, and they are also numbered one and two. And all you do is line up where the stems go. We can actually stamp this out with a regular stamping block. Oops, sorry. So I will do pear pizzazz. 
I'm going to do one that's flat because that one's a little wrinkled. And so that again, there's a notch cut out at the top of the stem. I'm just going to line the stem up with the flower. And there we go. And I can just mass go through and do that. And then the second layer of the stem is just a little more detailed. I'm going to go in with the granny apple green for that one. Now, for the second layer, it may not curve the way your first layer is, depending on how you stored them. So you might have to slightly adjust your stem before you stamp it down. And that, again, this is where a stamp positioning tool comes in to play because it will stamp in the exact same position every single time. So here I'm kind of relying on me lining it up correctly and me eyeballing it correctly. So it might be a little off. Actually, that one came out pretty good. <laughs> but again, these stamps are so easy to line up. It's not hard to do. And it's the same thing with the leaves. So what I will do is I will go back in and stamp the smallers on there the same way. I will go with level one, two, three, four, and then I'll have a little space in the top here to do my sentiment. But then I will have four cards ready to go whenever I need them for, you know, miss you cards, birthday cards, sympathy cards. Again, this set is just so beautiful. You can use it for anything. So there you go, guys. That is stamp lesson number two. If you wanted to do multiple assembly line stamping with these layered stamps, um, it's not that hard to do if you have multiple stamp positioners. And also, how to fix your mistake when you've messed up the order of your stamping. So if you like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I'll put a little bubble down here so you can subscribe when I post new videos. If you missed the first stamp layering series video, I will post a link to that in the top right corner for you. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye, guys.